Okay. Now this question is going to test your general knowledge about mathematics. The mathematical terms. Now look at this. It says in the diagram the tangent to the curve at a gen general point. It uh, it p with coordinates x and y. You should immediately write here the coordinates of p. These are going to be x comma y. Okay. When you write this. You can see that P and T are being used, and the area of the triangle is also discussed. So, can I say that this length P n is going to be y? Yes. So, this length P n is y. Okay. It says that uh, the curve is such that uh, area of the triangle P T n area of the triangle P T n is equal to tan x. So, can I say that half into P n into T n that is equal to tan x. Now this is the given information that area of the triangle P T n. So that is half into base into height that is equal to tan x. Okay. Now I can change this P n with the y. Okay. So this becomes uh, half y into T n that is equal to tan x. So let's see what's next. Using the fact that the gradient, what is gradient, bacho? Gradient of the curve. What is gradient of the curve? That is dy by dx. It says using the fact that the gradient of the curve at p is p n over t n. So that is going to be p n over t n. We know that p n is y. Okay, so we can say that this dy by dx, that is y. Now we, we can take out the value of tn from here. So this tn is 2 tan x over y. So since this is in the denominator, so I will be writing its reciprocal here. That is going to be y over 2 tan x. So we get this dy by dx that is half y squared to tangent x. So we have shown we have got these three marks. Okay. So we have to solve this equation, which uh, giving y in terms of x. Let me uh, scroll this a bit down here. Okay, this is this. Let me erase this. Yeah. Uh, just, just one minute. I need this area. Because this was covered, okay? Now, we have to... Uh, solve this uh, equation with these given values okay and we need y in terms of x Charlie, let's start so we have dy on one side and dx to go on the other side so this will be dy over y square and i have two potential x dx how to integrate dy over y square? Quickly. Yes, but you, you can move this to the numerator, okay? So we shall move this to the numerator. Yeah? Yeah, this is 1 by 2. Thank you, Vida. This is 1 by 2. Okay. And that is going to be 1 by 2. How can I integrate this cotangent x? Exactly. Ellen sign it. Because you will write it as cos x over sin x. Okay, so this will give me minus 1 over y. And we know that sin x derivative is cos x. So this can simply be written as half ln sin x. And then you have plus c 
let's use these given values here. Y is two and X is five by six. So this is minus one by two. There is half ln half, okay? Half ln half plus C. Can I say this is minus half equal to minus half ln two plus C? One over two means two raised to minus one, and then that minus one goes out. Okay, Khola? Okay, so this C is going to be half ln two. Yes, beta? Beta, look at this. This 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 is one over two. Now this one over two is basically two raised to minus one. So minus one goes out here, multiplies with half. Okay. So this is your C. Can I write this as because this is a very big value? Can I write this as a half into ln two minus ln e? Yes. Anna? Thoda sa zara neat ho jayega. This is half ln two over e. Chalo, ab thodi neat value aagi mare paas. So this minus one over y is equal to half ln sin x plus half ln two over e. Can I write it as minus one over y? That is half is common, okay? Can I write it as ln two sin x over e? Because of this plus sign, we can multiply these two, the product rule, okay? So uh, now we have this uh, y is equal to, I'll be writing the reciprocal of all of this, okay? That will be minus two over ln two sin x over e. That is your y in terms of x.